Hello, and welcome once again to another tutorial video on Scooter, the Schedule Builder. Scooter is Windows software for broadcast salespeople. It helps you work smarter, keep your customers happy, and increase your sales. Scooter comes in two versions, the free version, which is sufficient for many users, and the professional version, which is packed with extra features to make life even easier. In this video, we will explore how Scooter Pro provides additional tools to make scheduling easier when dealing with dates. In the basic version of Scooter, the start and end dates of each schedule are set independently. In the Schedule Information section, you first select the start date. Then, select the end date. Sometimes, this can be awkward if you desire to maintain a specific schedule length, such as 13 or 26 weeks. Let's see how Scooter Pro solves this problem with the Advanced Schedule Dates feature. In this example, we'll take a schedule from a previous year and update it. First of all, if we want to retain the original schedule, highlight it in the main window. Then, click the Copy Selected Schedule button on the toolbar. This duplicates the schedule, leaving the original untouched. Since each schedule for a client must have a unique description, we will need to modify the description field to a unique name in order to be able to save this copy. That done, move the mouse pointer to either the start or end date of the schedule and right click. This opens the advanced schedule dates window. The start and end dates of the schedule are each shown on a separate calendar. The start date on the left and end date on the right. These calendars behave differently based on the condition of the lock span box on the lower part of the window. If lock span is checked, selecting a new start date changes the end date, so the total number of weeks and days is maintained. The same is true if you change the end date. Also, while lock span is checked, changing the number of weeks or days in the text areas of the span section adjusts the calendar end date accordingly. If you do not want to maintain the span of weeks and days of the schedule, remove the check from the lock span box. Now, changing the start or end date in the calendars allows the schedule span to change to reflect the new dates. The lock span feature is especially convenient when the need arises to move a schedule from its original start date while maintaining the overall schedule length. As always, Scooter provides context-sensitive help on this window and all the other features of the program. Just place your mouse cursor over whatever you have a question about and press the F1 function key on your keyboard. Remember, the free version of Scooter is always free. If you need more features, then step up to Scooter Pro for a one-time fee. No renewals, never pay again. No matter which version you use, you'll receive free updates and upgrades for life. The download link for Scooter is in the description below. Please subscribe if you would like to see more tutorials on how to get the most from Scooter. Happy selling and thanks for watching.